Hello everyone. In this lesson, I wanna talk with you about hybrid supply chain strategies and why they're often needed. Let's start by revisiting Professor Howley's uncertainty matrix, which tells us that supply chain strategy is a function of both supply and demand characteristics. In my opinion, this is hands down the best framework for conceptualizing supply chain strategy. It gives managers clear guidance about when to use each type of strategy, and it gets all of us thinking about supply chains in terms of supply and demand uncertainty. But is this strategic matrix realistic? Is it applicable for all firms at all times? I think the answer depends on how literal your interpretation of the matrix is. If you think that every firm must characterize itself in one and only one quadrant of the matrix, then your view might not always represent reality. On the other hand, if you understand that firms can have multiple products with various segments, each with unique supply and demand characteristics that require hybrid supply chain strategies, then the matrix becomes reality. Think about segmentation for a minute. In marketing, we typically divide the broad overall market into subgroups of consumers based on some type of shared characteristics. This segmentation process helps marketers focus resources and more appropriately develop product, price, place, and promotion strategies that match the unique needs of each market segment. Well, as supply chain managers, we can also create segments based on certain characteristics. For strategy purposes, we need to think through and identify product segments in terms of supply and demand uncertainty. If our business has multiple product segments, then we need to go through this segmentation process with each product segment because it will help us identify the type of supply chain strategy that we need for the various products. For example, consider Lowe's. They're a home improvement retailer that sells a wide variety of products. One of their best-selling products is lumber. Lumber is a functional product that's existed for decades. Lowe's sources lumber from hundreds of well-established suppliers. Therefore, demand uncertainty and supply uncertainty in this category are quite low. With these uncertainty characteristics, Professor Lee's matrix would suggest that Lowe's use an efficient supply chain strategy. It's pretty clean and simple, right? Well, maybe not. Should Lowe's implement an efficient supply chain strategy for all their products? They could, but the results would be disastrous for other product categories like wallpaper. Wallpaper is a more fashion-oriented, innovative product where consumer preferences constantly change and demand patterns are unpredictable. Wallpaper suppliers are limited in number and known to have less than perfect on-time delivery performance. Therefore, in the wallpaper category, demand uncertainty and supply uncertainty are high. Professor Lee's matrix would suggest we use an agile supply chain strategy. But that is not consistent with the strategy that lumber needs. What should Lowe's do? Should they force all their products into one supply chain strategy? Absolutely not. Lowe's recognizes they have different product segments with different supply chain needs. If they choose just one strategy, then some product segments will flourish, but others will rapidly decline. The reality is Lowe's needs a hybrid supply chain strategy. Lowe's needs to carefully segment their products based on supply uncertainty and demand uncertainty characteristics. Then they need to align each segment with the appropriate quadrant in Professor Lee's uncertainty matrix. This means Lowe's will need more than one type of supply chain strategy to meet the diverse needs of their broad customer base. But if Lowe's successfully segments their products and implements the right hybrid strategies, then they will meet the unique needs of each product segment in a better, cheaper, and faster manner that results in competitive advantage.